So, hi everybody. I thought I would um, alert you guys to this possibly new email scam that's going around. For anyone who has an account with JP Morgan or Chase, be it a business account, a credit card, um, or any other type of business dealings with them, you just may want to be on the lookout for this. I did alert Chase or JP Morgan Chase for about this and the top half of this email was actually the reply from their auto system. So you can report these types of um, emails to their fraud department, which I did this morning. And this email basically was a spam message because it did it was listed as spam. And the thing that I thought was odd was that it was sent to like a university address because it has a .edu at the end of the email address, so it was like a university address. But I just thought that it was kind of strange, so I thought that I would put that out there and let you guys know about it. Um, besides that, this whole email is just weird. I, I didn't have a chance to read it this morning, so basically, right now I'm kind of looking through it, and it's stating that they would transfer this ridiculous amount of money into your account which if I remember my, my math correctly it seems to be like a half a million dollars because <laughs> it's like four because it says four apostrophe five zero zero apostrophe zero zero dot zero zero so it's it's a substantial amount of money that they're claiming they're gonna transfer into your account and the letter reads as follows attention beneficiary in fighting against corruption in the banking system and in pursuit to rebuild a good relationship with foreigners by the President of the United States of America, we wish to inform you that every that every files and reports concerning international payment or all the foreign beneficiaries was brought to my office in the order of in the order of instruction of the US Department of States and US Department of Treasury okay that to me doesn't make any sense right there and it says I must conf or it reads I must confess that I share I shed yeah it meant sh okay you can even find the glaring typos in this it says I must confess that I shared not shed, shared, S-H-A-R-E-D, tears after seeing the unclaimed and uncompleted transaction. It was, the, it was a national slap and a disgrace to the, to the country after noticing that you have paid for all, all the fee to receive your fund but your funds never got to the bank account because of the selfish interest of the banks and individuals mandate mandated to transfer and release your fund to your bank account and then the next line reads the U the u.s department of states and u.s department of treasury has approved a compensation payment of and it was the original payment that I listed above that ridiculous amount of money in your name which shall be transferred to your bank account through an on through an online we will create an online bank in your name and you will transfer your fund by yourself through our online to your bank account we choose to transfer your fund through the online banking so no agency will notice or stop your fund sir you shall receive the compensation fund compensation fund within three working days if you comply with our instructions and adhere to our directives get back to us with information as listed below and then they want which this is where it gets kind of scary because it asks for your full name, your address, your phone number, your age and occupation, that's a new one, your next of kin, and they want you to send a scanned ID. 
So that's a that's another red flag. And then it, it the last part just says, thank you for your mutual understanding and cooperation as we wait to read read for your <sighs> these are so poorly written as we wait to read from you soonest yours faithfully dr harold williams and then it gives you some phone number from i have no idea where and it says foreign foreign remittance department so this is what got me this morning as i saw this email what got me was the fact that they they listed again a u.s bank or banking information which we all know is public knowledge but it is kind of scary for someone that doesn't know or they really do think that they're going to get this ridiculous amount of money and they send these things they reply back to the email and they get scammed or something else or have id theft so I just thought I'd pass that information along to you guys. So I hope everybody has a good day. Bye.